Did you know that in the French royal court, Chevalier was a position and not a name? I didn't. But now that I've seen the film of that name, I now know a new bit of useless trivia. The illegitimate son of an African slave and a French plantation owner, Joseph Boulogne, Chevalier de Saint-Georges, rises to improbable heights in French society as a celebrated violinist, composer, and fencer, complete with an ill-fated love affair and a falling out with Marie Antoinette and her court. Calvin Harrison Jr. stars in the title role, and this is the second period piece that I've seen him in in like the last year and a half. Now, Chevalier is based on a real person named Joseph Bologna, who was a violin virtuoso, a brilliant composer, and a champion fencer. Now, the kind of fencer that uses swords, not wood planks. Well, he was also a black man who was part of Marie Antoinette's royal court, and who later went on to command a corps of black soldiers. So right there, I mean, he was quite the person. But Harrison, he is aggravatingly awesome in this role. He effectively rides the line between hubris and sympathetic. And it's this thin line because there were parts of the character that I was leaning towards really liking. But there's also an arrogance that comes through that had me wavering on disdain. Now, luckily, Harrison is excellent and he manages to maintain his likability. Now, in the opening scene, Harrison, he just really establishes himself as a force to be reckoned with. There's a bit of a musical duel that takes place, and the music is enveloping and exciting. And even if you're not into classical music, there's a driving intensity and even rock sensibility to the way that the performance is created that it's going to be very difficult to not become immediately invested. And there are a lot of musical numbers spread throughout the film that are really engaging. I mean, just like in that opening sequence, many of the numbers offer driving beats and they transform what could be boring classical music into something full of energy and emotion. And if you are a huge fan of classical music, I'm not saying that it actually is boring, so don't hate me in the comments. In addition to Harrison, there are a couple of standout performances by Lucy Boynton and Samara Weaving. Now, first, as Marie Antoinette, Boynton carries herself with just this absolute air of royalty. I mean, giving off this mixed persona that kind of matches Chevalier, sometimes being the friend and ally, and then when it becomes difficult, the tides of emotions and loyalties change. Now, I'm not saying that that's how Chevalier is played also. I mean, he's just that he has a few sometimes conflicting facets to his personality. Now, Samara Weaving is awesome in this, and I loved her dynamic with Harrison. They have this instant chemistry, and they create a pairing that I was rooting for. Now, I don't know if Weaving is really singing at parts in this, but if she is, whew, her voice is outstanding. And then there are the costume designs. They are lavish and beautiful, and they help to show the opulence of the elite. There are some times when the sets also, they feel grandiose, but the locations are fairly limited, so the standout really becomes the outfits. Now, personally, I loved all the blues that Chevalier wore throughout, typically offsetting the pinks that were worn by Weaving's character. So the thing with this movie is that despite some great acting, the emotional music, and the excellent costuming, there are definite issues with the execution as a whole. Now, first, the pacing is mostly slow, making this hour and 47 minutes feel much longer. Now, a lot of that has to do with the mixed tone of the story. Now, for part of it, the story wants to be a romance, part biography, and another part just wants to be more of a historical and social drama. Now, these arcs, they don't have to be mutually exclusive, but here they just don't gel. I could never really feel like the themes were cohesive. The pieces of the story feel like they're smushed together, and the shifts, they're semi-clunky and very noticeable. Now, I was digging the romance angle because Harrison and Weaving just have a lot of chemistry together, and when they're on screen, they share this infectious smile that makes you believe the emotions that are bubbling between them. I also like the social angle that's included, because it's addressing the inequities of the time that included race, class, and gender. And these weren't in your face or preachy, but they felt distinctly separate from the romance portion. And then there's the drama of Chevalier just attempting to gain the rightful respect that he's owed inside the royal court. And this was somewhat blended well with the other two arcs, but when everything is experienced as a whole, there's just something lacking in the presentation. I was really enjoying the story of Chevalier's life, and I think it's important to showcase the type of man he was and all that he experienced. But unfortunately, there's got to be a better way to piece him all together. Now, I don't want you to hear me say that because this was just a romance, I didn't like it. I mean, I really enjoyed each area of the movie. I just didn't feel that it worked as well as it could as a complete project. So when all is said and done, Chevalier is a visually stunning and well-acted period drama with some awesome musical arrangements. Kelvin Harrison Jr. commands the screen with his portrayal of the virtuoso, convincingly riding the line between genius, hubris, and humility. 
Bologna's story is intriguing and should be told, but in this presentation, the individual story elements are more powerful taken separately rather than how they're awkwardly pieced together. The pacing is uneven, dragging, and then rushing, leaving an overall feeling of slowness. At the beginning of the film, I was really into it, entranced by the music and Harrison's presence, but the longer the story went on, the less engaged I was, leaving me with just an okay emotion at the finale. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and just a little violence. I give Chevalier two and a half out of five couches. So what's a period piece that you've enjoyed recently? Now, I really liked Cyrano, and it also featured Harrison, but let me know yours in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.